Sebagaimana diketahui balapan ini merupakan yang pertama sejak MotoGP terakhir kali menggelar balapan di Indonesia pada 25 tahun silam. Balapan kali ini makin spesial karena digelar di lintasan baru, yaitu sirkuit Mandalika, Lombok Tengah, Nusa Tenggara Barat, NTB. Pemerintah pun mempersiapkan sirkuit Mandalika sebaik mungkin agar balapan ini dapat berjalan lancar. Tapi dalam uji coba sirkuit Madalika, ada beberapa pembalap yang mengalami crash, yaitu... Turn 11. This is what happens when, as we said, the, the lap times are so close, it's such an intense fight in it. Trying to pick him up while he was way down. The so. other thing that happens, Matt, is when you put a grippier rear tire in. They have, oh, wow. wow. Oh, gosh, Zonta. He's probably not done that before just yet. Doing it and succeeding, but I have no doubt that he will have to learn some skills before, uh, you know, Moto2 knocks that off out of them a little bit, you know, and uh, they're forced to ride a heavier bike that, that gives the tyres a harder time, it's easier to fall off. Heat acclimatisation, doing some runs in some very humid conditions, and that's sort of ideal preparation for this, isn't it? I didn't give much warning. Yeah, it certainly didn't. Yeah, quite strangely, we didn't have any crashes in the first uh, three sessions of the day, nor in Moto3 FP2.